Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 as usual and today we'll be answering the question, if it is more worthwhile to convert your gold into credits or to buy premium account time. If you play World of Tanks for long enough you'll finally come to the point at about tier 8 or tier 9 where you start losing money when you go into a battle rather than making it. The reason for that is because Around tiers 8 and 9, your basic ammunition starts costing about a 1000 credits per shot, rather than only 200 at tier 7 for example. And that means that basically the more often you fire your gun and more often you miss a shot, the more credits you'll lose in the game really, and you have to do exceptionally well to actually make money unless you've got a premium account. What that means is you'll often run out of credits and won't be able to, for example, buy new tanks or equipment and so on. Obviously, that is a mechanic that Wargaming introduced to the game on purpose so that you buy gold to convert into credits or buy premium account because if you wouldn't lose money when playing, why would you need a premium account, right? So, in this video, we just want to clarify if it actually is worthwhile to convert your gold to credits because that is actually something I have never done in my entire World of Tanks career because the rate of getting 400 credits for one gold just didn't seem very good for me and because of that I thought I would make a video on it just analysing thoroughly whether it actually is worthwhile or not and that's something that interests me as well personally. So. I just want to say off the bat that the maths I'm going to be doing now is kind of exemplary and uh, it might kind of differ for you depending on how skilled a player you are and maybe just on luck as well and also on how much gold you can afford. But I just try to make this calculation for the kind of average World of Tanks player if that makes sense. So if you buy gold, uh, I think most people actually buy 2,500 gold with their microtransactions at one time because that's kind of like in, in the EU at least, that will set you back 10 euros which kind of seems like a round number and kind of makes sense that you'd buy 10 euros worth of gold so that's 2,500. That's what I usually buy when I buy gold so I will be working with 2,500 gold here. And if you buy 2,500 gold and convert that to credits, you will receive 1 million credits exactly. Now, that is not really that good in my opinion, because 10 euros for 1 million credits, yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't spend that money, but I mean, maybe you would, I wouldn't. Well, do you get a better deal of buying premium time then? Well, you get 30 days, so one month of premium time when you buy it for 2,500 gold. And a premium account gives you 50% bonus credit and experience income in every game. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky, and as I said, I'm just going to be using kind of an average here. And we'll be looking at this game here that I played in my Type 61 on Steps. And in my opinion, this was quite an average game. If you're a player with, say, between 1000 and 1200 WN8, then this is probably, these are probably the kind of results you'll be getting on average in your games. I got 702 experience, and without a premium account, this game would have given me 23,940 credits. However, I had to spend 17,000 credits on repairs and 15,000 on ammunition resupply. Without a premium account, you can see I would have lost 9,000 credits in this game. Luckily, I do have a premium account, so I was able to gain 3,000 credits. That isn't a lot, but it's a lot better than losing 9,000. So I'm just gonna use my calculator here, and if we enter 35,910 minus 23,940, what we get is 11,970, make that an even 12,000, so the premium account made a difference of 12,000 credits. I made 12,000 credits more in this game thanks to my premium account. So let's see how many games I would have to play to make an extra 
1 million credits, which is the equivalent of what I would get when I would just convert gold to credits. To find that out, we'll divide 1 million by 12,000, which was the amount of credits premium account gave us in this more or less average game. And the result is 83.3 games. What this means is that I'd have to play, let's say, about 80 games in one month to get the same value out of my premium account that I would of converting credits. So how many games would you have to play each day? For that we'll divide 80 by 30 because they count 30 days as a month at Wargaming and the result is 2.6 games. So this means that basically you have to play five games every two days, two and a half games on average each day. That's nothing to get the same value out of your premium account that you would out of converting credits. We still have to remember though that you do not only get more credits but also experience on top of that from owning a premium account. So it's actually worth so much more to get a premium account than to exchange credits. Especially because the more gold you spend the rate improves. Here we can see that you, uh, you actually save quite a lot of money for each day if you buy a big chunk of premium time at once. But that mechanic doesn't exist for exchanging gold for credits. You will always have the same exchange rate. So all in all, we can really sum up that premium account time is a lot better than exchanging gold for credits unless you play only say one game a week or something like that, then you should think about exchanging gold for credits. But if you only play World of Tanks for say, maybe three games or five games a week, then probably you shouldn't be buying gold anyway, because it's just not worth spending that much money on a game that you play that little, in my opinion. So that was all on this topic really that I had to say. Maybe now you will stop exchanging gold for credits because it really is not worth it. So I hope you found this video informative. If you did consider liking it down below or even subbing to my channel I would appreciate that a lot and I hope I see you for my next video. I'll try to make that a uh, tutorial and camouflage next weekend. I'll see if that works out. Thanks for watching anyway and bye bye.